that's being pulled by a horse. They, they, they drive through the, uh, the streets and then you stop the, the, the gas guy to, to buy gas from him. Hello, marhaba, ishlonkum, ahwalkum, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video here with Rami the Iraqi. Today I'm going to go ahead and teach you about some Iraqi words part 3. So this video is in Arabic and it's going to be in the Iraqi dialect. If you're a new subscriber, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Make sure you guys subscribe so you always get notified when I upload a video. So let's go ahead and get started and make sure you stay till the end of the video because that's when I'm going to talk about the food item that I always talk in my videos. Tonight we're going to go ahead and talk about kubba yakhni which is a food that is uh, mainly uh, cooked um, in the north uh, in the city called uh, Mosul but also other people in, in, in Iraq eat that. But let's go ahead and dive into the video. All right, so the first word here we have darub. Darub is way or street. It's mainly way. All right, so um, way by way, I mean, I'm gonna use it in a sentence. Jibli akil ibdarbak. So Jibli is bring me, akil is food, ibdarbak. So darub is way, darbak is your way, right? So Jibli Akil Darbak, bring me food on your way. So like like let's say, let's say your mom is telling you to bring you some food on the way. Okay. Uh, plural of that would be Durub. Durub. Okay. So now I wrote it here in Arabic too. So you guys can see it. Darub. I'm not writing any of the tenween, by the way, because that will take a long time. But the tenween, if you're new to learning Arabic or reading, is very important. So that way you, you, you know how to read the word. And after you learn, after maybe like uh, three years of reading with tenween, then you could, I would say, you could read with, with no tenween because you've memorized how, how the words sound like. Okay. So the next one is theb. Theb is a verb to throw. Okay. So uh, let's say, uh, put away. Dibbe, dibbe bilga. So this is look. This is a different word that is not here. Ga. So dibbe is throw it. Dibbe. So it's throw it. Ga is floor. Okay. Ga. Ga is floor. Dibbe bilga. Okay. So the next one is dak and dich. So dak is that. Okay. For male. Dich for female. So I'm going to go ahead and say dak et chelib helu. So chelib is dog. So that dog helu is cute. All right. So dak et chelib helu. All right. So let's let's use dich uh, in a sentence for that. That's for for a female. So let's say I'm talking about a cat. Dich el bezune helwa. Dich el bezune helwa. Okay. Plural of dak, I, I don't have it written here, is dolak. And plural of, of that for female, thenni. Okay. So the next word is ruzname. Ruzname is calendar. Okay. So I would say, khallini achayik ruzname hatta ashuf ida ani mejhul aw la. So khallini, let me achayik. Let's check. Ruzname calendar hatte so that a shuf to see if I am busy, majhul is busy or no or not. Okay. So the last one here on the board, and then I'm gonna write some more is zeniye. Zeniye is kindness. Okay. <clears throat> so you could say uh, Rami, sewi fedzeniye bhayatek. Rami, do some kindness, something kind in your life. Rami, sewi, do zeniye bhayatek. So let's move on to the new set of words. All right, so now the next set of words is we have sa ta. Sa ta. So this is not a T, it's a ta. Ta. 
Sa-tah. And this letter 7 is the letter Ha in Arabic. So as you can see here, if you know the letters already, so this is the letter Ha. So sa Tah, sa -tah. Sa -tah is a roof. Um, you know, like the houses here in America, um, or I guess some places in Europe, uh, they're they're shaped like that, right? Especially in the north, because of the snow. But maybe if you go to Arizona or some uh, other places, they have a roof that you can go on. All right. So that's how the houses are in in Iraq and in actually a lot of Middle Eastern countries. Except if you have snow, then you know, you gotta make the roof like that. Okay, so satah is roof. So rami imshi nas'ad lissatah. So rami imshi, let's go, nas'ad, go up lissatah, to the roof, okay? The next one is samun. Samun, this is an Iraqi bread. It's shaped differently. I'll show you a picture. I'll leave a picture for you. So, ani ahib akul samun al-subah. So, ani ahib love akul to eat samun bread, Iraqi bread, al-subah. Subah is morning. Okay, so it sounds similar to satah, right? Satah, subah. But subah would be different letters, okay? Just sounds similar. So the next one is sopa. Sopa is, um, this is the letter that we use for it. So it's not in the Arabic alphabet, okay? I think it's in the Farsi alphabet, all right? So sopa is, so this you could, you could put it as a B. It doesn't have to be a P. So sopa would be, um, a heater. I'll show you a picture. This is a heater that you use for the living room. Okay. So, Rami shaghil al-soba li'anno shwaya barde. So, Rami shaghil, turn on, soba, the heater, li'anno, because shwaya, uh, little uh, barde. Barda is cold, so a little cold. Rami shagal soba and shwaya barda. Rami turn on the heater because it's a little bit cold. Okay. Set is tachum. Tachum. Okay. So tachum also means could be a, a, a piece of furniture. That would be tachum. Okay. Uh, but tachum may, mainly it's, it's it's a set. So you buy something as a set. So you go buy a plate, okay? And I taught you plates in the previous lesson, which was Iraqi words in the kitchen. I'll leave a link for you here to check it out. So a plate is ma'un, plates mawa'in. So, ani ajabni tachum al mawa'in. Okay? So, ani ajabni, ani, I, ajabni, I liked. Tachum, the set, mawa'in, plates. I liked the plate sets, okay, the set of the plates, okay? So, the last one is here, af. Af is to leave, okay? So, to leave, ani rah auf. so you have to conjugate it. Ani rah auf. akil le bazuna. قبل ما أطلع للشغل. So that was a long sentence for you. Ani, I, راح أعوف, will leave, راح أعوف, أكل, food, للبزونة, for the cat, قبل, before, ما أطلع, I leave, للشغل, to work, okay? To go to work, okay? So now let's go on and teach you some more words and then we'll talk about that food item. All right, here we go. The last set of words for you. So we have Iz al dhuhr Iz al dhuhr Okay, so dhuhr is noon, okay? So literally this dhuhr is, is noon. So why do we put Iz al dhuhr So this will be like in the middle of, of noon. Um, it's kind of emphasizing the uh, the situation that it's noon because you know in Baghdad it's it gets very hot 
especially in the summer, you have June, July, August, it gets really hot. So if let's say someone tells me, Rami, let's go out. Rami, خلي نطلع ساعة واحدة الظهر. So I didn't use the word yet, I'm going to. So uh, someone told me, Rami, خلي نطلع. So Rami, خلي, let's نطلع, go out at one. Then I, because I said, ساعة واحدة الظهر, at one afternoon, in noon, after 12, okay? So I'm going to answer him. Let's say my friend is, his name is Ahmed. Ahmed, تريد تطلع بعز الظهر? So, uh, Ahmed, you want to go out, تريد تطلع, you want to go out بعز الظهر? You want to go out like at noon? It's, it's going to be hot. All right. So now, the next one is عقب. عقب is after. You could use these with days, all right? So, خلي نطلع عقب باشر. Okay, باشر I've taught you before is tomorrow. So, خلي, let's نطلع, go out, عقب, after, باشر, tomorrow, عقب باشر. The next one here is fat. This is not fat, okay? This is just how you pronounce it, fat. So maybe double A will be more fat, not fat, fat. Okay, to pass by. So in Iraq, sometimes you need to get um, gas. Gas, I'll show you, like a tank uh, gas. I'll show you, not gasoline, gas for like uh, a stove. Okay, so I'll show you a picture. Um, so there is a cart that's being pulled by a horse. They, they, they drive through the, uh, the streets and then you stop the, the, the gas guy to, to buy gas from him. It could be in a car as well. I haven't been to Baghdad in a very long time. Maybe no more horses right now. Sometimes there are some camels. All right, so Fat. So Abul Ghaz, Abul Ghaz, if you translate it literally, means the father of gas of gas. But Abul Ghaz means like the guy that's selling the gas. So Abul Ghaz fat ibsharna qabil sa'a. So Abul Ghaz the guy that sells the gas fat passed by sharna our street qabil sa'a an hour ago. Qabil sa'a an hour ago. So the next one is far Far. And by the way, I have it all written for you here in Arabic. Okay, so if you want to read it, practice. Far, uh, far, sorry, the next one is far. Far, far is like uh, to turn. So I would say, خلي ناخذ فرة. فرة is like to turn بالسيارة. Let's take like a turn in the car, a, a spin in the car. Okay, and the last one is fov. Fov is something that you would say like let's uh, let's get it over with, let's finish, let's get it over with. So let's say you're you're going through um, a, a painful procedure like getting your tooth pulled. Yalla fudna, fudna khalasna. Okay, maybe you tell the doctor. It may not be very nice to tell him that. But you're in a lot of pain. So I would say, uh, I'll give you another example. Let's say I'm, I'm, I'm waiting on my friend to get ready. I'm ready already. He's taken forever. So Ahmed, yalla fudna ukhallas hatta natla. So Ahmed, yalla, like let's go fudna, finish up, get this over with. Khallas, finish up, hatta natla, so that we can go out. All right, because I've been waiting for you. So now we're done with the words. I hope you liked all the examples. Let's jump into the food item, the kubbayakhni. So this is, as I, as I mentioned to you, in the north, a city called Muslil. Uh, people uh, make this uh, kubbayakhni. But, but as I also said, they, all over Iraq, they make it and they eat it. All right. So kubbayakhni, basically, it's uh, very similar to kubbahamud. I've mentioned it in one of my videos, Kubba Hamov. It's just a different soup. Uh, 
So the casing from the could be uh, how, how it's made, the kubba, you have it's made, I, I like it, to, I like to make it from rice, but you can make the, 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 the casing, um, the covering of the kubba from burgle, but a lot of people make it from rice. The stuffing, I'll also show you pictures, the stuffing is ground beef and um, onions, and also you could put a lot of spices, your choice. Okay, so put some Arabic spices, mix it up. So how you do that is you cook a piece of meat in water. Okay, so you bring water, you put in a, the, the piece of meat in there, and you put chickpeas in it. So you let that boil, make sure the, the, the um, piece of meat is cooked, then you throw in the kibbe. So after you make the kibbe, you gotta freeze it. So the kibbe will be, the kubba will be frozen, and then you throw it in the water, and then after that it's gonna cook. It's gonna be very delicious, very good. So if you ever go to Iraq, make sure you uh, eat that. Actually, you don't have to go to Iraq. All you gotta do is go to Michigan. Okay, that's where the most Iraqi population there is, and I'll throw in a picture of this, one of my favorite restaurants called Ishtar. If you go to, rest, if you go to Michigan, Ishtar, you literally feel like you're in Iraq, okay? You're gonna love all the food. In Michigan, the food, Arabic food, I think is the best in the whole United States. All right, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this, today's video. Uh, make sure you subscribe, you like. Again, I really appreciate all your comments. This channel is growing fast and I'm happy with it. Drop a comment for any questions or concerns. Also, uh, you have my Instagram in the link and on the screen here. And thank you.